My name is Dexter. Dexter Morgan. I don't know what made me the way I am, but whatever it was left a hollow place inside. People fake a lot of human interactions, but I feel like I faked them all, and I faked them very well. Ahoy there, Captain! Any big Marlin out there today? And that's my burden, I guess. But I don't blame my foster parents for that. Harry and Doris Morgan did a wonderful job raising me. But they're both dead now. I didn't kill them. Honest. You're different, aren't you, Dexter? What do you mean, Bob? The Billups say Buddy disappeared. I found the grave, son. That dog was a noisy little creep, Dad. He was barking all night and Mom couldn't sleep and she was very, very sick and that lousy dog was yapping at every leaf that blew down the sidewalk. There were a lot of bones in there, Dexter. And not just Buddy's. Have you ever wanted to kill anything else? You know, something bigger than a dog? Yes. Like a person? Yeah, but no one in particular. Why didn't you? I thought you and Mom wouldn't like it. Dad. I can explain. You and I had an understanding. Whenever you get an urge, you come to me, you tell me, and we deal with it together. I do tell you, Dad. The hell you do? There's blood on this knife. Animals. I find animals, that's all. Are you sure? Are you telling me the truth? Yes. I thought we had this under control. You still don't remember anything from before? You know, before we took you in? No. Is that why I have these urges? What happened changed something inside you. It got into you too early. I'm afraid your urge to kill is only gonna get stronger. You're saying I'll be like this forever? You're a good kid, Dex. You are. Otherwise, it would have been a lot worse than animals. Okay. So we can't stop this. But maybe... we can do something to channel it. Use it for good. How can it ever be good? Son, there are people out there who do really bad things. Terrible people. And the police can't catch them all. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're saying they deserve it. That's right. But of course you have to learn how to spot them. How to cover your tracks. But I can teach you. Dad. It's okay, Dex. You can't help what happened to you. But you can make the best of it. Remember this forever. You are my son. You are not alone, and you are loved. I've seen this before. Whenever a cop is killed, it's like everyone's life has been stopped in mid-sentence. Davy Sanchez was a fearless and dedicated cop. Davy Sanchez was a son, a husband, and a father. Davy Sanchez was my partner. Davy Sanchez was my hero. That was great. What, Dad? 
Ever since Davy was killed, my world feels out of control. How do you fix it? Two ways, I guess. Honor Davy's memory. And catch the bastard who did this to him. It's not about vengeance. It's not about retaliation. Or balancing the books. It's about something deep inside. Jesus, Dad, it's called being on time. You ever hear of it? I was having a bad day. The captain and I had a discussion. Yeah, well, maybe you should... Wait, what, what kind of bad day? It's about the guy who killed Davy, isn't it? The judge said the bust wasn't righteous and let him walk. Bad guy kills a cop and nothing happens? <sighs> That's not fair. Life's not fair, Dexter. Can't anyone do anything? Can't you do something? No. Not now. So what then, though? The world just keeps spinning out of control? No. The world can always be set right again. What do you think today, Dex? The Winchester? What about the 9mm? A handgun? Not exactly the weapon of choice for pheasants. You need a widespread to bring them down. Did you ever shoot anybody, Dad? Afraid so. Any of them die? Just one. How'd it feel to kill a guy? Not so great, Dex. When you take a man's life, you're not just killing him. You're stuffing out all the things he'll ever become. As a cop, I only fire my weapon to save a life. That's a code I live by. Killing will serve a purpose, otherwise it's just plain murder. You understand? Yeah. Change my mind. I think we'll take the Ruger. Rifle? I thought the shotguns were best for pheasants. We're not gonna hunt pheasants. It's a big one. Yeah. This deer will put meat on our table tonight. It's still alive. For now, this is how we'll control the urges you feel. Channel them. Why don't you go ahead, son? Really? Put the poor animal out of its misery. Listen, you do. I'm not gonna be around much longer. Dad, don't say that. You can make it through this if you fight. When I'm gone, I won't be able to stop you from being who you are. Sooner or later, you'll need to do it. Do what? Just remember our lessons. What lesson? What are you talking about? I can't make it without you. Yes, you can. If you feel like you're slipping, you lean on your sister. She'll keep you connected. <laughs> Don't let her. OK, my brave little soldier, let's get this nasty shot out of the way. No, no. wait. What is it, honey? He doesn't want the shot. Your father's very sick. He's in a lot of pain. He needs a shot. No, I want pain. He wants pain. I 
I'll have to tell the doctor. He's not going to be happy you're refusing your medication. You can tell about the nurse? Yeah, she's... like me. How could you tell? She gives too much. Morphine. It's something else. It's making me worse. She's drugging you. She's killing you by overdose. Not just me. Others, too. Stop her. It's time. Before she hurts anyone else. It was messier than I anticipated. It's still a special day. But of course it was really Harry who paved the road to my salvation. With the nurse put down, Harry lived another year before hardening arteries squeezed the last bit of life from him. But his lessons have never failed me. I stopped, get up. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Nice ambush. That was the perfect point of attack. I can't believe I finally got you. I won. This isn't a game, Dexter. No, I, I, I know. It's not supposed to be fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just Do you think I, I want to teach you these things? This is the only way I know how to keep you out of an electric chair. This is about survival, Dex. Nothing else. Got it? This is? This is Dexter's new birth certificate. The adoption finally went through. You're a Morgan now. I thought I was already a Morgan. Well, you have been to us, but it's official now. <laughs> it took a long time and a lot of hurdles. This is an important day for us. Hey, Dad. Mm-hmm? How come you never told us what happened to Dexter's real parents? Well, they died. I know, but how? I don't know. Let's not talk about it. No, how did they die, Dad? It was an accident, a tragic accident. Hey, buddy. How you feeling? Good. It kind of itches, but they have ice cream here. <laughs> Life's a trade-off. What you making there? A the thank you card. See, the nurse brought me the crayons and everything. Who's it for? Well, she said I should thank the man who gave me the blood. I mean, that's normal, right? Giving thank you cards? Yes, it is. It's just that he's gone. And we won't be seeing him again. I'm sorry. That's all right. It, it doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, it does. You keep drawing, son. I'll make sure it finds him. Okay. Oh, this is 
See that? That's nice shooting, Dex. We need to talk. Those boys don't stand a chance. Hope one charges me. No, you don't, Dex. Oh, this Listen. thing's got massive stopping power. Dexter, slow down. I got bad news. They need me to take a shift at work. Right now? But what about the boar hunt? We'll plan another trip. I waited two weeks for this trip. You can wait another one. No, I can't. Hey, if you read the books, you know that psychopaths like me have a low tolerance for frustration. Dexter, enough with the psychopath bullshit. You're in control of your urges, not the other way around. You don't understand, Dad. I need this. It's not just a sport to me. I'm sorry, son. I have responsibilities at work. Now, come on. I'll drop you off at home. Give me the gun. No! I'm okay, Dex. I've told you, never put your finger on the trigger unless you're shooting. Are you okay? Jesus, that was close. My heart's beating out of my chest. Let me feel. Feel what? Your heart. Oh. That's amazing. Get a description of Juan Ryan to every patrol unit in the city, and wake up Judge Morehouse. I need a warrant for Ryan Ness's apartment immediately. Fisk, make sure that you get that print right You don't? Deborah, get back inside the car like I told you. Blunt trauma to the head? I went over there, no one saw. The blow to the head killed her. She took a brutal beating beforehand. The guy who did this is an evil bastard. You know who it was? Oh, yeah. I've been trying to nail him for a while. Pip named Juan Ryan Ness. She was one of his girls. She was dumped, right? Get back in the truck. Come on. <laughs> you just got the cake, sweetheart. I'll see who it is. Tom, this is a surprise. Come hey. on in. Oh, thanks. Sweetheart, cut the lieutenant slice. It's her birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday, hon. But uh, no cake for me, thanks. Uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Sure. Save me an end piece. God damn it! <laughs> Rhinus is gonna walk because of a goddamn typo! Faulty warrant, Harry. There's nothing we can do. This is bullshit! Harry! Now look, don't worry. Rhinus will make another mistake. Yeah, right. We're just gonna wait for him to kill another girl. Sorry. Happy birthday, kiddo. We'll be the vacuum cleaner. You okay, Dad? I did the right thing in training you. This just proves it. I did the right thing. Sorry it had to go down like this, Sergeant, but there really was no other way. Sergeant. Stay away. Just stay away from me. I've heard those words before. Three days before my father's death. Oh. Hey, Dad. Look what I did. It's Juan Rhinus, the pimp who killed that girl. I finally got him for you. Wrong. Are you okay? Just stay away. Please. Stay away. Ugh. It was me. The idea of a code was one thing, 
a grand idea, a noble cause, but the reality of it. Harry walked in on what he created, and he couldn't live with himself. What, Morgan? What now? <laughs>